everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. Welcome back to my channel and to a Thursday night thrifting adventure. So tonight we are going to go to the Valley Thrift in the Cincinnati, Ohio area. If you missed it on Tuesday, I shared a haul from my uh, 127 yard sales adventure. I won't give you the details. I'll link that video above here so that you can go and watch that after you watch this one but I did have a great big haul from a ton of yard sales. And while we were there, I had it on a list to check out the Valley Thrift. I had seen it last summer on some fellow um, YouTuber reseller channels. Um, there was a big event in that area, I wanna say near Springfield. And while they were there, they visited the store. And so I wanted to go, mostly because I saw lots of stuff in bags. <laughs> And if you've been around a while, you know I love the stuff in the bags. <laughs> so I was excited to go and we found some great things that I'm excited to show you. Before I get into the shopping, because we are going shopping, I want to show you a couple of things that as I was editing the footage, I realized I didn't get captured, but they were here in my haul. So let me share those with you real quick and then we'll go shopping. The first things were these two ginormous mugs, <laughs> like ginormous. They are great holiday mugs. They're in beautiful condition and just marked with made in China, but I'm looking for things to fill our boots for the holidays. And that needs to happen like now. <laughs> and I just thought these were super playful and colorful and chonky and cute. He's a little creepy, <laughs> but they were also only 69 cents a piece. So for like a buck 40, I imagine I can do even five or $6 on these. And for 10 or 12 bucks, um, that's a pretty good flip. So I grabbed them. The other two things that I grabbed, they were both in one bag and the bag was marked 99 cents. So I could not, I mean, for 50 cents a piece, they are new in the box. This one I think was opened. Um, this one does not look opened, but they are bottle stoppers, like wine bottle stoppers, and they're in the shape of New Jersey and Illinois. A couple of these have sold on eBay. There's quite a few listed, but only two have sold, and I think one was like eight and one was 10. So I'm guessing that's where I'll be with these. They may sit for a while because, you know, I don't know who'll be looking for them, but maybe with the holidays coming up, they would make a good gift. So I will put them on eBay. Those were the things that I had missed. So without further ado, let's go shopping. All right, everybody, here we are. This is the very first aisle. Here are some bags of stuff already. And I'll tell you what, this was the first one I touched and I should have grabbed it. <laughs> I think it was $2.99 and these are all um, wooden painted vintage napkin rings in the shape of hot dogs. And they're super cute and probably worth a little bit of money. <laughs> so that was a miss. I will share with you um, what I found on them. I can't wait until you see me kind of back off and show you some of the store. I mean, of course, I immediately dove into like what was on the shelves and then I just realized, oh my gosh, <laughs> we're just in the first aisle. Look through those. Can you see aisle after aisle after aisle and all the things that are hanging? I liked this. This was a big piece of carpet, big rug. It was very pretty but it, they had it zip tied. It's kind of like one of those things that, you know, I would have liked to have opened and taken a better look. Um, I don't know how legal that would have been. These little things are great for like milk bottles. If you are a milk bottle collector, I'm not, but I was thinking, man, maybe I should buy that for something at the shop. This guy looked like he was going to fall out of his bag. <laughs> so I was kind of stressing out about him hanging out like that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, me and my like OCD tendencies, things in this store were like just everywhere. There was no rhyme or reason for like how they put things, where they put things, how they match things. Like for example, here's a bag of, let's see, there are some, there's a bird, there's a nest, there's some eggs. Those make sense. There's some sort of figurine of a bear. 
And then there's those two single salt cellars, <laughs> little gold feet. I don't know. <laughs> I liked this little basket, but these looked a little sad. Like somebody maybe was playing like, I love you, I love you not. <laughs> And then what is this in the bottom? There's this red thing down there. And I was like, maybe I should pull that out. <laughs> nope, nope. We got so much more to look at. I better keep going. That was a neat basket right there. And then underneath it was a Cincinnati Bengals piece. Cute little wreath. And a fishing pole. <laughs> That I'm just now seeing. Lots and lots of candles everywhere. Um, but they weren't... I like to buy my candles for just a couple of bucks. And theirs were a little pricey. I want to say they were more like three and four. Oh, here's the first thing that I picked up. And yeah, this definitely came home with me. It was so pretty. When I picked this up, it was extremely heavy. It does not look extremely old. And it is stamped origami koi. I mean, I zoomed way in and it's definitely that. I can't find that anywhere. <laughs> when you look up origami koi, you get what you expect, right? A lot of koi fish made out of paper. <laughs> but this is somebody's stamp. I don't know. I love it. I think it's beautifully done. It's a really nice weight. It's a really nice shape. It's a great glaze. And it was only $3.99. It will probably go on eBay. And I won't be sad to display it on a shelf while it's listed because it is very pretty. Right after I put that vase in the cart, these caught my eye. And I had seen these before. I knew exactly what this was. So I definitely grabbed this bag too. I picked up this bag because these two things were in it, but there was a couple other things in there. So let me show you that first before I get into what these are. There were two small canvases that have printed red polka dot coffee cups. I'm going to repurpose these if I can paint over this and it feels like I should be able to paint over this, but these would make cute little paintings. Um, and they're already ready to go, ready to hang on the wall. So yeah, I think I will definitely take these camping and put something on these. Then the other thing that was in there was this cute little snowman bottle stopper. And he's on a spring, so he just kind of bobs around. He's fun. It looks like he was originally made for World Market. And he's just another holiday thing that I think I'll take to the shop and throw a few bucks on. He's cute. Now let's talk about these. So I have never seen anything like this in the wild. I knew what it was, but I've never run into it in the wild. This is horsehair pottery. If you've never seen it before, it's pretty cool. It is actually made by using horsehair. Um, you can use other things too, um, other hairs or things that will burn. But the process is after these are fired, like when they come out of the kiln, super hot, they actually kind of wrap them in horse hair and the hair will burn and it causes these cool designs and the smoke and everything is actually what causes this coloration. I want to say these are called like carbon trails, right? Um, once they do that, they put a glaze on them. So you can't feel anything. There's no horse hair there, but they just come out really cool. If anybody has any idea what these are, <laughs> I guess maybe they're just decorative, but they look like they could have been like finials or something, like they were meant to screw on or go on top of something. They are signed by a D King and I don't know, maybe just decorative. If you have any ideas, please put them in the comments below. I'm curious to know your thoughts. I just like them and I was happy to see horsehair pottery out there. So that was a cool little find. I actually have this piece hanging in my sun porch. This one had a broken beak. A lot of this stuff, it seemed like some of it was almost new. I think this one had like original tags on it. Um, the price for the 
thrift, the thrift price was very high. <laughs> there was some things in this place that were really priced high. Like these, these were priced $6.99 each. Now they were fun, but I feel like they should have been priced as a pair. Back on everybody. <laughs> you want a clean, clean <laughs> rear end for $2.99. You guys, luxury bidet system. Woohoo! All right, wow, all, all right, time. all right, all right. <laughs> oh, he is a hoot. That actually will be installed in our downstairs bathroom. We have one in the upstairs bathroom, so why the heck not? Here I spot a couple of vintage Afghans. Love the colors here. Did not like the textures. Oh, and then I jumped back because I saw this piece. I always keep my eye out for those old wool blankets, um, usually made by Faribo. These were nice, but they weren't special. Um, that was a nice big one. They were both priced right. They were, uh, I think, $3.99, but I passed. Then I spotted this really cool mug, and it has a lobster on it. <laughs> Bar Harbor, been there a couple of times. Um, love Maine. Then there's some brown drip down here. You know I love brown drip. Now this is the dark stuff, and the dark stuff is usually made by false graph. And I think I show you here. Yep, false graph. They had some really nice prices on that. So if a collector comes along, they're going to be excited because those were some nice pieces. Oh, and up here there was a salt and pepper set and a creamer. So, you know, I had to marry those up. <laughs> Just because I'm in Cincinnati doesn't mean I've changed. <laughs> what do we have here? A cute frog. Look like a resin frog. And then some salt and pepper shakers. Just look like a made in China piece. Oh, he was cute. And some souvenir little plates. That looks like maybe a toothpick holder or a tiny little bud vase and a candle holder. See what I'm saying? Just rent and a little vase. <laughs> Just random things all together. Oh, here I saw some willow tree things. These things hold their value. I'm surprised every time when I find when I look it up. But that guy had a broken arm, and I think something else was missing a wing, so I passed on that. Ah, then I saw this. And I could tell that this was a real oil painting. Could tell by the way that it looked and it, the way that it felt. You can see the paint um, on the canvas there. Um, and it was nice, although I couldn't see a signature. It had a very big frame and a very big mat. But I decided to take a chance on this, even though they had uh, $15.99 on it. I went ahead and I bought it. All right, y'all. This painting officially ends my sniffing out good art. <laughs> yes, it is a real oil painting. And you can see the texture, the buildup. See the paint. It is real. Somebody hand painted this. You can actually order one of these from China. I believe also Brazil. Um, I've seen this before. <laughs> there is a catalog of paintings that people actually hand paint and you can order them. You can order them by size and by frame. Like you can tell them exactly what you want and they will paint it by hand and send it to you. And this is one of those. The original, I don't know, I went down a little bit of a rabbit hole trying to figure out who painted the original. It was either a Hungarian artist um, named Laszlo, or it was another artist, I wanna say it was like Spec or something. I'll share that with you. Um, but this is not <laughs> the original painting. This is a like mail order oil painting. I'm still glad I found it. I think it's going to be a great addition to our gallery wall in our Yoso Whimsical booth. And I, I imagine, I mean, even the frame, it's professionally framed. 
So even the frame is worth 20 or 30 bucks. Um, I'd put another 20 or 30 bucks on the painting itself. So we're in the 40 to $60 range, somewhere in there. Even though it's a copy, I think somebody will really enjoy this. There was some nice things up here on this shelf, some glass, and this girl was pretty. Looks like she had all her fingers, but I didn't like that price tag. I'm guessing she was maybe a Napco piece. That was interesting. And then I saw this little piece. And for 99 cents, I mean, yeah, that came home with me. I had to grab this. It was 99 cents. It's just a really cute, small, etched brass piece. So I don't have a lot of these pieces in my personal collection. I don't run into a lot. I actually see other resellers running into these way more than I do. <laughs> and they're very pretty. They're usually uh, made in India. This one is marked with a little India on the bottom. And it's very cute for 99 cents. If I was to resell it on eBay, probably in the eight to $10 range. And I may admire it for a little bit. <laughs> what else do we got here? Oh my goodness. Would you look at this guy? <laughs> I don't know. He's either mad or he's hung over. <laughs> what do you think? I liked his face. It's pretty entertaining for $2.99. Oh, I see a candle wick candle holder. Only one of them. And then look at this big bag of brass. My goodness, it was heavy. And look at that tiger sticking out of there. Oh yeah. I keep saying that I'm gonna like slow down on getting brass unless I see really amazing pieces, but I've seen some pretty great pieces. <laughs> so I picked it up on this uh, weekend because I found a bunch of it, larger pieces in um, one of the art sales I went to, and you'll see that on the video if you go watch. And then I found this bag for $7.99 of all these smaller pieces, and they're all really unique, so I had to grab it. This one is probably the largest of the lot. It is solid, it is very heavy, and I wanna say it's like a bank. It could take something in there, but it's like a money bag, now I will show you some comps. I couldn't believe what some people are paying for this piece. And that's thrilling because I'm gonna get it right up on eBay and hopefully somebody will buy mine too. But let me show you what else is in that bag. This guy, how cool is he? Rawr. He's got a very cool look to him. He's probably about, I would say six, seven inches long. It's great. Again, solid brass. Um, I want to say the larger ones that are more like nine inches go for a bit more, but I'm going to say he's probably in the $20 range, and that's pretty awesome. This cute little horse. He's a little guy. He's very shiny. Got a great look. None of these, from what I could see, were marked. So they're probably, a lot of them are probably from India, but he's neat. I'm voicing over this section because at first when I was recording this, I thought this was a deer, but it actually goes with the horse I just showed you. This is one that is eating. So I have a set and I can't find a set. This is the closest I found here on eBay. And so that was kind of exciting. And then two of them were these textured, and there's a little buck, and then an eating doe. They're pretty great. I'll share some comps that I found for these. There was one single little candlestick. It's pretty cute. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because it's just kind of a loner. And then finally in that bag was this really nice unicorn ashtray. It's pretty big. It's got a great weight to it. I see two more of these currently listed on eBay. They are in pretty bad condition. This one looks like shiny brand new. So I'm probably going to try most of these on eBay. 
Um, my last brass went to the shop and depending on how it does there over the next couple of weeks, it may come back home and go on eBay as well. What do we have down here on the bottom shelf? I see some great colorful wood, look like handmade. They also were marked with Jamaica and $7.99. So I put those back and then I saw up here what looks like in the package, although it's missing its box, were some really pretty little glass ornaments. I did a Google image search and it turns out that these are made by Avon, which never surprises me, but they're super sweet. There's a bunch of Santas and there's some angels and some teddy bears and there's sparkles and glitter and all of it's very cute. Again, because we're looking for holiday stuff, this will go to the shop. This guy was also in there and I think he's broke. Earth may try and take him apart and see if there's a battery in there, but he was a motion sensor snowman. Says it lights up and sings a holiday tune, so I don't know. I'll let Earth try and fix him. He's pretty good at that kind of stuff. Next, I saw these big glass steins. They were Harley Davidson, and I always look at Harley Davidson stuff. These were actually from a Harley Davidson shop in Manaway, which is really close to where we live. So strange that they were down all the way down there. And we did look those up, and at $4 a piece, there just wasn't any money there. And then I spied this guy, and I thought, for $1.99, yeah, he was cool. He could come with us. It's a wire egg basket, but it's in the shape of a chicken. It looks like you can get these on eBay, like brand new shipped to you from China. <laughs> it's one of those kind of things, but it's really cute. You can get it shipped from China for free, but it will cost you about 18 or $20. So I paid $1.99 and I imagine I could probably put it in the shop for 12 to 15 bucks. Cute. 69 cents. This is cute for 69 cents. Here. I can imagine you could hang this on the wall and I don't know, so many things could go in there. It was only 69 cents. So I imagine that this would be great for the shop. I'd probably put, you know, six to eight dollars on it. So funny, we went in and out of the loudest music in this place. So I just, you know, figured I was gonna voice over the whole thing. <laughs> but, oh, it's frustrating. I'm so worried about those copyright strikes. And then I found this and this is a pretty cool piece. Really nice shape, so I grabbed it. I apologize if the camera's at a little bit of a different angle, but I totally forgot this. It was sitting in another room because I have a couple of cups that actually match this, um, sort of, they're blue. <laughs> but I did find this as well, and I will share with you a comp. Um, it isn't a really old one, but it's a nice one. So we filled up a cart and it was time to go. We headed to the register and in the aisle by the register, I found this sweet guy. And so I added him to our cart too. This is an Odagiri mug. It is adorable. It's got this little raised owl on it. He still has about 90% of his sticker and he was 69 cents. So that was kind of a no brainer. It doesn't look like he was ever used. It's dated 1981. It's just a great little find. Um, oh, I just noticed he has a little one on the back. How cute is that? There are, I think three of them listed on eBay. I will share those with you. I don't know, I'm starting to build this single mug um, collection and I really think that we should have maybe a coffee cup corner at one of our booths and just start to fill it full of really cool, unique, um, one-off mugs. And then, you know, those people out there who have collections like I do where there's just a mishmash <laughs> of mugs will um, add some of our unique ones to their collection. That was such a cool place and I'm really excited to go back there. 
I know it's a far way for us to go, but we were already talking about going back to the 127 yard sales next year. So we would definitely put this on the list again. Um, but you know, maybe I'll get down there some other time before then. We'll see. It's a really, really cool place. So if you're in the area, definitely check it out. And let me know if you are from that area, if there are other places down there. Um, I know, like I said, there's other locations. Tell me how they are. Do they compare to this one that we went to? I would be really curious to know. All right, everybody. I so appreciate you watching. If you're still with me, you know I love you the most. If you are still with me and you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and click that little bell so you have an alarm and you know when I put a new video up. That happens a couple of times a week. While you're clicking things, click the like or the dislike and then leave me a comment down below. Like I said, tell me about something you know <laughs> or just say hello. And the best thing you can do is share my video with somebody who is like you, who may like uh, to treasure hunt or thrift or resell or any of the above. Um, tell them to subscribe and tell them that you found a new friend. All right, everybody, please take care. I will see you next week. Bye.